Over to you. All right, Lauren, thank you. Another ATM theft, this time in Baltimore's Highland Town neighborhood. This keeps happening. Over the past few months, thieves have crashed vehicles into a lot of local stores trying to steal an ATM. We have W American News' Mark Roper live right now in Southeast Baltimore, where they targeted a Walgreens store. And Mark, in this case, they did manage to get away with the ATM and all the money inside of it. Yeah, good morning, Christian. This happened around 3.30 Monday morning. Just look at the damage they caused to the front of the store. You can see the glass front has been replaced by plywood and two wooden doors. This is where someone crashed a van right through the front of the store, took the ATM, and then took off, leaving this major damage behind. Time and time again, we've seen this same crime play out about a dozen times over the last few months with the same M.O. Driving a vehicle in the front window or door of a business to steal its ATM. Baltimore police report 23 ATM thefts in the city alone to date this year. Although by this same time last year, there were about 48 ATM thefts in the city. This latest one, a Walgreens at Eastern Avenue and South Haven Street in Baltimore's Highland Town neighborhood. Police haven't determined yet if Monday's incident is related to any of the other cases, but business owners at nearby stores gave police surveillance video, which might help solve this case. They're desperate and they're willing to do anything. Hopefully if it's the same person, they're able to stop them and, you know, figure out what's going on. Baltimore County has seen its share of ATM thefts as well. Thieves recently hit up the Security Square Mall in Woodlawn and drove through the front doors of the mall entrance to try and steal an ATM, but they weren't able to take it. And just last week, police in Baltimore County say a group of thieves tried to pry an ATM from the outside wall of a bank in Cockeysville. The thieves weren't successful in that case either, and police arrested one of the suspects, an 18-year-old. But again, in this case here... The suspects not only got away, they also got away with the store's ATM. 40 Live in Highlandtown, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News. Okay, Mark.